Hello there. Feeling quite excited today because this book has arrived. It cost just under that, just under ten pounds. And what it is, it's the Fiddler's Tune Book, which I first bought in the 60s, in the 1960s. So that shows how, how old I am. Um, yeah, when I was first learning the fiddle, the very first books I bought were the Fiddler's Tune Books. And I covered them in plastic to protect them. And um, this is the second um, version, second edition. And um, I've lost the first version or the first edition years ago. I have no idea where it's gone. And then when I saw that um, Mr. Malley, a gentleman in Yorkshire, has uh, managed to contact um, Peter Kennedy who originally put this series of tunes together um, and he has reprinted both editions. Now I knew about this, I've seen this over the years but never had the opportunity to purchase it but lo and behold it, I saw it on eBay the other day and I thought what a wonderful present that would be for Christmas. So I, I bought myself a copy, and it's come up from um, from Cornwall, from from um, a, a, a place in Cornwall, <clears throat> in Tor Point in Cornwall, um, and it's a company called Hamcore.com. They seem to be a music business, so thank you to them. And that arrived today, and uh, funnily enough, I still have a lot of the other collections in the series that um, were originally put out, I think, by the EFDSS, the English Folk Song and Dance Society. And I bought a lot of these at the time, and they were quite cheap, and they were perfect for anyone first learning to play the fiddle. So this one is uh, a popular selection of, of English dance airs, and um, this has been put together by Nan Fleming Williams and Pat Shaw, um, who, who you do see their names quite a lot on these collections of English tunes. They were obviously very keen on, on putting collections together. Here's another one edited by Nan Fleming Williams and Pat Sholdham Shaw. Um, yeah, and uh, this one is a popular selection of English dancers, um, 17th and 18th century country dance tunes. Isn't that lovely? So all sorts of tunes in there. And uh, yeah, so I shall revisit these books um, in the next 12 months because there are so many beautiful tunes in them. Look at this one here. This one is Morris Dance Tunes. Now this one is selected and edited by a gentleman called John Brock. And once again, I think it was um, published by the English Folk Song and Dance Society. I believe it was. Yeah, because that's where I bought them from many years ago when I used to work down in, in London. Um, it was quite easy for me to travel over to Camden Town, which is where the English Folk Song and Dance Society are based at Cecil Sharp House. And um, I used to go across there and I used to scowl through the bookshop and I picked up these little booklets which were so valuable. But I was so pleased to be able to, to get hold of this because this has the first copy of the original um, Fiddler's Tune book. So I was so pleased to get hold of that and so pleased that... Mr. Malley has taken the trouble to sort this out and get this book published. And I went onto his website the other day and he's got a whole selection of interesting tunes and books and things like that 
that you, you could perhaps visit if you wish. I'll try and find a link to his website. He's based over in Cleckheaton, um, Yorkshire. So not so far away from here, actually. Um, but look at this. It's all in there. And he obviously he's taken the time and trouble to add the chords as well, which is very useful. So it's, it's very nice. Thank you very much indeed. That's, what a great Christmas present this is. So I shall enjoy playing some of these tunes and sharing them with you over the coming year, 2022. Of course, it's New Year's Eve today, so we'll all be celebrating this evening. Um, hope, I hope you enjoy your New Year's Eve celebrations. And even if you're not going out, it doesn't matter. You could still have a little drink of something or other, or even a cup of tea. Please yourself. Anyway, I just thought I'd share this interesting thing with you, and um, I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye now.